Hi, my name is Laura Evans with the University of Missouri Extension and I serve as the 4-H Youth Specialist for um, Platte County and I have my daughter Audrey here and welcome to our Evans Place and today we're just talking about poultry. Um, during this quarantine time we um, thought it would be nice to share a little bit about poultry. Um, Audrey, why don't you introduce yourself? My name is Audrey Evans. How long have you been in 4-H? For five years. And why did you choose poultry as a project? Um, I thought it would be kind of fun to do poultry for a different thing. Something else to do, yeah. right? And something else to learn. So we chose po po um, poultry as a 4-H project just to learn about different, um, to have eggs on our table, but as well as to learn about poultry. It's something that neither my husband and I both um, grew up around birds, and so we thought it would just be kind of a fun family project. And so today we're going to talk about um, the different types of breeds, different parts of chickens, as well as what they eat and um, different other topics about poultry. So Audrey, why don't you first talk a little bit about what you have in, in your hands. Okay, so this is our um, black link chick. Um, Tell us a little bit about um, why did we choose this breed to raise? Um, because um, she is a very good way. Yeah, they're um, black sex link. Um, chickens are very um, good, known for laying. Their production is really high. Do you remember the two breeds that the um, to make a black sex sex link? They're a crossbred. Um, it is a. Plymouth, uh -huh. Hard Rock, Chick, a hen, right? A hen and a Rhode Island Red Rooster. Yeah, so we, when you use those two breeds, they mix them, they breed them, and then that's where the sex links come in. So it is a crossbred um, chicken. Very nice. Um, can you tell us a little bit, just simple little characteristics before we bring a hen in? Why did we, a little bit different characteristics than one of the other birds that we have on our place? Um, we have some barred rocks, mm -hmm. we have some silver lace, yeah. we have some light brahmas, we have, is that it? Did you say black silkies? No, I did not. <laughs> yeah, we have a few black silkies. So we have a variety of, um, of chickens on our place. Um, it just gives us a opportunity to have different colors of eggs and things like that. And Audrey, we're going to show you guys a tip how to determine um, the chicken's eggs by the color of the chicken's eggs by just looking at the hen itself. So I'm going to, once you hold, keep your chick here. I'm going to go grab um, the other um, hen that we have. Audrey, why don't you talk about um, what color, do you remember what color eggs does the sex links? Oh, this big hen is not wanting to come out and play today. So, how old is this hen? She is a year old. Yeah, I would say probably close yeah. to a year old. We got them last May, and um, we got a. Um, at the time, we had about we got about sixteen or seventeen hens at the time. This. Um, so, let's talk about a little bit difference between the size of this one. So, how old is this one? She's only a couple. Weeks, yeah, three to um, about three to four weeks, yeah. and one of this one is a year old. Let's look at the different um, legs. Remember that these are different breeds, so that you'll see the different characteristics of the color of their feathers, but you'll notice that they're different colored legs as well, right? Yeah, okay. Um, let's talk about the let's um, can I have that hen yeah. or that chick? And can I have a helper, my scene helpers, come take this away? Thank you, Gwen. Okay, so now let's talk about this hen here that we have. Okay. What's her breed? Um, this is a Plymouth Bar Rock. Uh huh. Um, her. Nope. Um. Well, let's talk about the different areas of um, of so the chicken. So, this 
is her comb. Point to it again so everybody can see it. So it's just a red, she has a nice red comb, okay? Um, and her waddle too is nice and red. Mm -hmm. um, her eyes, her ears. Um, Where are her ears? Can you show us on this side? Mm -hmm. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, there's her ears. Yep. And tell us a little bit more about her. We got her breastbones, right? Yeah. And we have her wings. Let's see if we, she'll let us fan them out. I'll hold her, you fan, the, fan them out. And so you're looking, when you're fanning out the chicken's wings, you're looking for a nice, even curvature. She looks like she's, um, haven't lost any feathers, which is really good. Okay, let's do this side now. And this is also, it's really good to actually check and um, check your chickens often. Um, look for mite or parasites or mites or anything. Good. Okay, and then um, what about her backside? Um, so this is her tail feathers. Mm -hmm. Look how tall they are. How nice. And, um, is there any other parts that you would want to identify here at this time? Um, there, her. Okay, so. Yep. When you're holding a chicken, Audrey is just flipping it over. She's taking her two fingers and going like this, and then she's holding it. You're good. All right, let's try it again. You ready? <laughs> the chickens are fairly large, and so they're kind of hard to um, give your okay. Audrey's hands around. So this right here is her um, leg um, part, and then this okay. is, these are her toes, and then her toenails right here uh -huh. are her toenails. Oh, and the band is, um, we use the band to remember what breed, well, not what breeds they are, but to remember what, um, year? What year we got yeah. them. And, um, so then that way we can keep track of, since we have, um, we add birds, not regularly to our, yeah. to our flock, but... Um, so that way that we remember what year we got them. And so, yeah. um, Audrey uses a, you use a notebook, right? Yeah. To identify, um, we write down the year we got them, um, how many, as well as, um, just kind of to keep track of what, um, if they need to be vaccinated or, you know, if we've had problems with them, um, that way then we have some records, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, what else? So what color eggs does this chicken? This one lays a, just a regular color brown Egg. Uh huh. Okay. Do you remember how? Remember how we talked about how we could show them a little bit later of how to determine? Oh yeah. Yeah. Can you okay, talk about so a little about that? How to determine what color of eggs they will lay is their ear color. So this one is like brown. ear color is brown so then we'll know that she will lay brown eggs that's nice I had not learned that was something that we learned wasn't it okay. yep so um, Audrey does actually participate in showing her animals um, at county fairs right mm -hmm. this is um, you started two years ago yeah and last year was one it was we experienced it a little bit more and did you have fun doing that yeah so tell us a little bit about showing your animals okay so how you would show the chicken is you would bring it up to the judge mm -hmm. and you would so you would talk about your breed a little bit and then you would show them what this and then you would show them all the body parts of the chicken you know so and so an intermediate um member may just talk about the head and the, the breast, the, the waddle, the eyes, but Audrey, as you learn and as you get older, what other terminology um, will you be able to share? You'll have to know m most of all of the body parts of the chicken. Mm -hmm. Audrey has a cheat sheet here. This is a wonderful source 
as well as um, other books and things like that to learn about chickens. Why do you think it's so important to know about our chickens? Because um, if you want to show them, you have to know what breed they are to show them, and you have to know like a lot of stuff to be able to show them, but then also if you want to um, do <laughs> so uh, you also but is it important why is it important to know about the breed because if you don't know about the breed then you don't know what they could they have the potential yeah. to be right and so it's nice to know to be able to do your research about barb rocks do you know any any um pacific um carry sticks about plymouth barb rocks um if the judge if so the judge will be picky about the, um, like what colors. So if you see here, are. and so where where it has black, white, black, white in that pattern, if it is a, a true Plymouth Brown Rock, if I'm correct yeah. me right, wants to have a strong yeah. black, white, black, white. This animal, this animal here, you can see where there's some type of gray a little bit in there, so it blurs the lines, yeah. and so. She has been, um, not saying that she's imperfect by any means, but there's a little bit of crossbred of some sort yeah. in there, in genetics. Um, why is it important to know the genetics of our birds? Do you know? Um, because... Um, Each... So I'm going to answer this question. Okay. Is that okay? So yeah. on the birds, of the genetics of the birds, it also helps out with them knowing the... Um, the, the egg laying production, it also knows, we know that it's a meat bird, meaning that we can eat it for um, consumption of meat. Um, each breed is a little bit different. Um, is there anything else you wanna share? Um, no. Um, how about, let's talk about a little bit about the tools we use to make sure that our um, chickens are well. Okay. You wanna set her back down or you want me to hold her? I'm so you can, her. yep. All right. Okay, so for our chicks, instead of using a big, um, instead of using like a big water feeder, we use little mm -hmm. tiny water feeders. And then say, well, we had a couple of chickens a couple weeks ago that needed their toes trimmed. So we used some dog clippers to trim their toenails. Why is it important to keep their toenails trimmed? Because you know? they could get really, really long and then they could break. Mm -hmm. And then if they break too long and you don't know it, like they break too far back and you don't know it, then she could start bleeding. She could start bleeding and that's, and that just um, um, puts the chicken into harm of getting, getting ill, right? Yeah. Okay, what okay. other supplies do you have? So for showing, we either have this water that we can use, or we use this to hook up to a water bottle, and then we use this for their her feet. Yeah, her feet. and so we for showing, we just have a tub full of things. Do so you want to? So this is just what we store our feet in. Um, also other materials over here too. Um, how? Let's talk about a little bit about habitat habitats. Do you? What does chickens like the best? Um, they like. They like enclosure, right? Yeah. They like to be put up. Why Why would it be so important to have a chicken coop? Because if you don't have a chicken coop, then they could either get eaten by mm -hmm. some coyotes. Some predators, right? Yeah, you learned about that yeah. in fifth grade, right? About You're learning that right now about predators and the life cycle of animals, right? Yeah. Um, and so it's, it's important to make sure that you have plenty of water, plenty of feed um, for your chickens. Um, a plenty area to ro let them roam, a nice, self, uh, safe um, chicken coop, but also inside the chicken coop, what are some things that we should have inside? Okay, so what we should have inside, you can ha you can have some like nesting boxes, yeah. little nesting boxes inside. Um, we, what is it? Brooder box? A brooder box, box. yep. And you need like brooder boxes. What are you brooder boxes used for? The chi also have um, little like rest resting rails, right? Yeah. 
Yep. Why do you think they need? Do you have any ideas how rust? Why we use rusting wheels? I don't. Because, else? I don't know if we've ever talked about that. Um, the rust. They can keep the chickens off of the floor. Yeah. They can just grab onto the rusting rails and they can just. You wanting to make sure that you have everything put together and somebody would say it's just a phrase. Someone would say, "Get your chickens all in a, in a get my chickens in a, in a row." And I'll think about it, like, <laughs> and so I think about it. So all the chickens are going to be rested in a row at night time because yeah. they like to they like to sleep up in the yeah. on the rails. Yeah. So getting all your chickens in a row. We end so. up having to. Just a add, funny joke. We end up having to add another resting rail uh -huh. because we have so many chickens that they were some of them were sleeping on the floor. Yeah, so we want to make sure that they're up and um, up off the floor. It allows them to air circulate around them. It allows um, the pesticides not to grow. Um, it just it's best to and so floors typically are dirty with all of their feces and things like that. And so it's just best to get the chicks the chickens off the floor, right? Um, how many chickens do we have? We have 44. Yeah, so the we um, it started three years ago, just having like five or six, and then um, we have found that um, our neighbors around us would enjoy eggs too, and so we just have been growing eggs, right? Produc mm -hmm. a little um, productions of eggs and selling the eggs, right? And so it's just been a fun little project for our family. Um, Audrey, do you ha is there anything else you would like to share with us today? Um. So. For showing, I'm going to show you what the wipes are for, the baby oil, and the Vaseline is for. Okay. So, this, you would, like, grab, like, a rag, like a... A silk rag, right, yeah. is what they recommend? Yep. And then you would just put a couple dots of this, and then you would rub the rag and you would put it like on this part of her body to make her um, wings, or not her wings, Just but her, her feathers, feathers yep. shiny. And then for the Vaseline, you would put it on their feet, their comb, and their waddle to make it all shiny. And then for- and Just nice and hydrated, yeah. right? Yep. And then the baby wipes or are for if like they get messy or something and then you can just clean it up with that. Do you wash your chickens before you take them to the yes. show? Yeah, so um, it's something that we've learned the last few years as to how to, how to properly wash your chicken, but um, we'll be sure to share that another day too. But um, we had lots of fun with you guys today sharing everything that we know about chickens. We do encourage you guys to check out um, the Missouri 4-H website um, for more information about poultry um, and um, Thanks for joining us today.